Hey everybody! Uh, this is Northern Lion. You can probably guess that based on the fact that you're either on my channel or you know you're watching this on YouTube.com slash Northern Lion right now. And I wanted to do a quick state of the channel, you know, to rip off the State of the Union style thing, a channel update uh, to explain what's going on, what's going to happen with the channel now that we're in the new year. It seemed like a good time to talk about it, especially since I got back uh, from Japan, you know, like 24 hours ago, basically put in a full work day and have been checking things like YouTube comments and Twitter and, and figuring out what I'm going to do. Uh, for the rest of, you know, February. Well, the rest of January and February as well when it comes to the channel. So, what we're going to talk about. Increasing variety on the channel. The return of some series. Then we're going to talk about changes to my playstyle in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I know a lot of people have been voicing their opinion about that. I just want you to know it's been heard. That's pretty much what I'm going to tell you. Uh, and then we'll, we'll talk about maybe some more stuff at the end. So, first things first. I've heard loud and clear. Too much Isaac, not enough variety. That is pretty much a byproduct of two things. It's a byproduct of the fact that my channel is known for Isaac and Rebirth. Still, its release is still semi-recent. Like, it's it's just about three months ago. There's a lot of content in that game to churn through, so I've been playing the crap out of it. I still love playing it. While I was on vacation, whenever we were traveling, I was playing the shit out of it on Vita and on laptop. So I'm playing a ton of Rebirth. That's not gonna change, but there's no excuse for me to not have more variety now that I'm not building like a 70 video backlog to go up while I'm away. So, uh, let's look at us coming back in a big way. I've already recorded two of them today. There's going to be even more this week. What, what you're watching right now is actually the footage that'll come out for the let's look at of 868-hack, which will go up tomorrow. New roguelike, which you don't judge a book by its cover. It looks a little silly, maybe a little amateurish in terms of its visuals, but it's actually a really, really interesting game. Uh, Infinifactory is going to have a Let's Look at that goes up the day after that. Gravity Ghost the day after that, and I'm going to keep it coming. Uh, my, my goal is to do five a week or one a day, basically. You know, I know seven is technically one a day, but, you know, five a week I think is a little bit more uh, reasonable. And I want to start another series in addition to it. I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. Kind of hoping that when I play Darkest Dungeon later this week, it's going to tickle my fancy enough to become a series. Maybe something else will come back. Anyway, for now, that's all you need to know. Variety is coming back. I've heard you. Too much, Isaac. Not necessarily too much Isaac, but too much Isaac because there's nothing else. I got it. Variety's coming. I want to be the. I don't want to just be the Isaac guy. I want to be the guy that you come to if you want your, you know, opinion on games and stuff like that as well. If, if, not if you want your opinion. If you want to hear my opinion on games. Uh, so yeah, that, that stuff's gonna be coming back. And of course, I appreciate your suggestions uh, on Twitter, stuff like that, for telling me what games uh, you wanna see played. And I, I check out many of them. And not everything is, you know, series worthy. For me personally, either because I don't like the game that much or because the game doesn't like me that much. But we'll see. We are coming to a point of the year where there's a few more releases. January is usually a little dry. Let's talk about Isaac, uh, because obviously a lot of people have had very strong opinions on the recent direction, I guess, that those games have gone in or that that series has gone in as I've become a little bit more focused on mechanics and winning as opposed to being silly. Uh, that was that was short-sighted. I'll just pretty much say straight up. You know, the, the comments for those videos speak for themselves, uh, as do the, the likes and dislikes on those videos. So, you know, I pay attention to stuff like that. I, I think part of the problem, part of the reason people get angry is because they think that their their voices aren't being heard. I just want you to know, I'm, I'm hearing you loud and clear. I'm going to start caring less about the streak and more about just being zany. And, you know, I, I mean, it helps maybe if you understand my motivation for stuff like that. Because recently, or like for the past few months or even years when I've been playing Isaac, the most negative feedback I got was from making mistakes that made me lose. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to focus on tightening up my play and winning as many games as possible because I think that's kind of like a true mark of skill. And then it, it's weird for me, I, I don't want to say I felt like double-crossed or anything like that, but when I, you know, started focusing more on my play and actually doing pretty well and find out that people were becoming, in some ways, more negative was a surprise to me. But I understand that it's, it's because it's kind of disingenuous for me to be like, well, I'm going to be like superstar Mr. You know, Michael Jordan of Binding of Isaac now. When previously the way that I positioned myself as is as just like an entertainer, basically. So I'm going to try to find a happy medium. There are going to be a few videos where I'm like, the streak, here's my goal for the streak. I'm going to get 100 wins, blah, blah, blah. Don't pay too much attention to that. Uh, your com the comments have affected me. And I don't necessarily mean that in like a, oh, you know, stop, the, you know, leave Britney alone type of way. I mean it in the way that, you know... It, not all the feedback was civil, but all the feedback is coming from a place of honesty, and I appreciate that, and I'm going to be doing uh, my part to just get back to having fun with Isaac and being zany, and sometimes that's going to mean throwing a run to do something silly uh, that could have the opportunity to turn out in kind of a, an absurd way. I'll get back to that, I promise. It's, it, it's, I adjusted, I over overcorrected for sloppy play by trying to play perfectly, and don't even get me started on Boss Rush, and uh, it, w it was silly, and you know, taking two weeks off to kind of get away from the Isaac grind has made me realize that I was not necessarily uh, 
I was not necessarily doing the videos that people wanted me to do, even though I was having fun with them at the time, and I have fun in that game whether I'm trying to be silly or whether I'm trying to, you know, be the perfect player or anything like that, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to it. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the people that have stuck with me throughout what is, I originally thought it was kind of a subtle change in terms of my, uh, play, but obviously a lot of people have been, uh, you know, thinking that it's a little bit more severe than that. But anyway, I appreciate that. The, the last thing I want to mention, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, more variety coming to the channel. I'll focus less on the streak and more on being entertaining. And my apologies for, for making you think that maybe your your voices weren't being heard. But anyway, that's the third thing that I want to point out, is that uh, if, you, if you really want to be heard, this is not me saying follow me on Twitter. I don't give a shit about my clout score. But really, the easiest way to make sure that your voice is heard with respect to what you want to happen is to hit me up on Twitter. So if you want to, like, posting a comment is good, but it oftentimes leads to this critical swell, and people are like, well, that's the only way to get something done, is if a hundred people leave a YouTube comment and get angry about it. Or if, like, ten of you tweet me and go like, hey, it would be awesome if you cared less about the boss rush, more about this. It, like, come to me with that stuff. I know it's, it's tempting, because I've done it myself before, to go into the comments and complain or leave critical feedback, and that's constructive a lot of the time. But at the same time, if you want to be as constructive as possible, shoot me a tweet. Twitter.com slash NorthernLionLP. I will... I, I read pretty much all the tweets I get, at least between the hours of, like, 9 in the morning and 1 in the morning. Uh, so, you know, and oftentimes the ones overnight as well, because I have a problem. But, um, yeah, that, that's the easiest way to make sure that it's heard. I'm not saying don't comment, and I'm especially not saying, like, don't leave your honest feedback. All I'm saying is the easiest way and the fastest way for that to happen is uh, if you if you hit me up on Twitter. Again, no no follow required. Additionally, I it should be less of a problem now. Feedback should be implemented more quickly because I'm not going to need to have as much of a backlog. I was super super stressed out trying to make sure I had a full backlog for while I was gone. I'm back now. There will be there's always going to be a backlog because I upload so much per day that if I get sick, I don't want to have to go five days without uploading anything. Um, but it, it's not going to be like a 50 video backlog. That's that's just absurd. That won't be happening again for a long long time. Like, uh, at least a year, I'm assuming. But in any case, uh, thank you for your support while I was gone. It is, it's crazy to me that, you know, so many people continue to watch my stuff and continue to find me. And if you're a new viewer, hello! You might not even be knowing what the fuss is about right now. Um, but uh, for those of you who have stuck with me, I appreciate that as well. Uh, this, this period from, like, November to the end of January was basically Isaac City. There's going to continue to be a lot of rebirth, um, but I'm going to get back to variety as well. Hopefully without sacrificing the number of rebirth. In fact, there's been two a day recently. I'm looking to go back to three now that I don't need to worry about, again, maintaining a backlog so much. But, uh, yeah, I, there's nothing really for me to say. Thank you for the feedback. I know that not all of it came from necessarily the most civil place, but that's totally okay. Uh, as, as long as it's constructive, and it was, you know, you really let your opinions be known. And thank you to, to those of you who watched this, you know. This has gone on a lot longer than I expected, and, you know, you don't need to dedicate part of your day into listening about how one... You know, douchebag here is going to make changes to his channel, but uh, that's okay. The other thing I want to say is, uh, I appreciate that you did that, by the way. The other thing I want to say is this is not like a sad, mopey, like, uh, oh, you know, well, fine, I'll bend your will or stuff like that. You know, I've watched those Isaac episodes because I live those Isaac episodes. And, uh, you know, I'll, I, I will acquiesce. My favorite Isaac episodes are the ones where things get crazy, not the ones where I just win. The best ones are the ones where it gets crazy and I win, though, but in any case. Uh, and additionally, it's not like I've been like, well, people are asking for variety, so I'm going to give it to them. No, I want to get back to not just playing 100% Isaac, and that's going to happen uh, starting tomorrow, which is awesome. Thanks for the video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching it or at least feel informed or at least, I don't know, comforted. Is that the right word that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm paying attention to what you guys have going on and I'm not just saying, fuck you, you know, I'm going to turn off my comments. Anyway, I, apparently I got like a weird... English accent at some point there, but in any case, thanks for watching. This has gone on far too long. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you on tomorrow's videos or on the NLSS tomorrow. Thanks for watching.